Welcome to The Complete Teacher, 101 meaningful, bite-sized professional development lessons, each coming with thought-provoking titles, relevant, inspiring quotes, helpful text with anecdotes, data, and wisdom, and action steps. Lesson 20, The Fun Test. Is this lesson fun? Well, it should be. Mary Poppins says, in every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. And Gail Godwin says, good teaching is one-fourth preparation and three-fourths theater. I once observed a teacher begin his lesson with something like, all right, today's lesson is going to be pretty dry, but it's really important stuff, so make sure you pay attention. This teacher was well-liked by his students and was a solid teacher in many ways. To be honest, I understood his reasoning. His in with students was that they trusted him to bring the best, the most relevant content, and therefore he could get away with starting a lesson with this sort of comment from time to time. However, I couldn't help but conclude that his boredom disclaimer was unnecessary at best and harmful at worst. I deeply believe that while all content is important, I've yet to find a lesson in which there were not multiple angles to make it fun. When I lesson plan, I always ask myself the question, is this lesson fun? If I couldn't answer that question with an affirmative, I knew I still had work to do. My personal standard was that the final answer to that question could never be no. Whether it be the hook, a sense of humor, a correlation with a funny video, or little known details that I could use to puzzle even the deepest thinkers, every lesson had to pass the fun test. If the content was particularly dry, I looked to other strategies such as the way in which I involve students in the learning in order to make sure the lesson passed the fun test. This could be as simple as having teams of students race each other to fill out the warm up on the whiteboard. Another tactic I employed was to make sure that each unit was more exciting than the one that came before. I didn't like the thought of an exciting unit ending and a mediocre unit beginning, so I planned to make all units exciting. I got to the point where I could tell my students at the opening lesson of every unit, Class, this unit is my favorite so far. I can't wait to go through it with you. Sure, some of them would catch on and ask, hey, didn't you tell us that last time? My honest response was yes, and it was true when I said it, but now it's true again. Ultimately, the secret to passing the fun test lies in the approach of the teacher. It's all about the mindset that you model for your learners. Students react to the energy coming from the teacher. If you're dragging through content that you can't stand, you can be certain that it's even worse for your students. If for no other reason, make it fun for yourself too. This is the greatest profession on earth. Take advantage of every day and enjoy it. If you enjoy the process of teaching the content or skills, your students will notice and will be willing to go anywhere you want to take them instructionally. Action steps. Add some fun to an upcoming lesson plan. Consider humor, statistics, games, demonstrations, cultural references, or funny videos to help students connect with the content. Need a copy of all the Complete Teacher lessons on slides? Looking for an e-reader or physical copy of the Complete Teacher? Want to browse thousands of other top-rated engaging resources? Check out the links below.